From Idaho's News Channel 7, this is Sunday Sports Extra. Well, it's a game that we have all been looking forward to. Undefeated Washington traveling over to take on 25th ranked Boise State last night. Welcome on into Sunday Sports Extra. Jay Tust alongside Brady Frederick. Brady, last night's game lived up to the billing. Yeah, I mean, except for the fact that I think a lot of people expected a close game, but after a second half surge, Boise State ran away with it, especially in front of a stadium record crowd. Yeah, well, this might be. A new rivalry is all these two teams will once day be playing in the Pac-12 together, at least starting in 2026. But here we go, the Cougs on the blue, and crazy to think in two games this will be two years this will be a conference game. Yeah, in a highly anticipated matchup, Ashton Genty set the tone on the very first drive. Look at this run, breaks several tackles, makes his way to the outside, and suddenly he is all alone to trot into the end zone. 64 yards to the house. Even hits the Michael Jordan shrug as he runs back to the sideline along Cam Camper. Uh, that, that's a good way to start things off. Yeah, what an impressive run going the other way now after a Washington State score. It's Ashton Genty down inside the red zone and across the goal line. The 14 yard TD run put Boise State back on top 14 to 7. Yeah, Ashton Genty 13 carries for 109 yards and a pair of TDs, but the best was yet to come in the second half. That gave the Broncos a 17 10 lead, but Washington State. Had some time to take a shot at the end zone. 20 seconds left. Ty Benefield comes up with the interception. Huge play from the sophomore in Boise State's first INT of the season. A huge shift in momentum after that one. After halftime, the Cougs put a nice drive together. Still have a chance to even up the game, but Rodney Robinson comes up with a huge sack. Not only forces fourth down, it knocks Washington State out of field goal range. They have to punt. Boise State would later punt, and then it sets up WSU going for it on fourth and one, something that almost always works with their mobile quarterback, John Mateer, but it's Marco Notriani meeting him at the line, no gain, and a turnover on downs. From there, Boise State's offense comes to life. Maddox Matson goes over the middle to Matt Louder. He makes a couple of guys miss, gets inside the pylon. The 22-yard trip to the end zone extends Boise State's lead. Do Louder was absolutely dominant last night. 96 yards receiving, a new career high for him. So into the early fourth, Washington State finally puts together somewhat of an answer. John Mateer lets it loose to Kyle Williams. Diving effort into the end zone, and Boise State leads 24-17. Well, it's the last time the game would feel close. BSU calls back on their premier running back. Genty breaks to the outside, makes a pair of defenders miss, cuts back in inside makes even more men miss shows off the speed they nearly catch him stays on his feet somehow slam dunking the ball across the goal line that one was from 59 yards out and at this point the crowd was going absolutely insane breaking into the Heisman chant waving the flags a lot of fun but still plenty more of offense to show off fourth down Boise State's got a three score lead they decide to go for it. Madsen fakes to the right. Everybody shifts over. Matt Lauder's all alone on the other side of the field. And we wrap things up with one last final Ashton Genty touchdown. He went off 259 yards on 26 carries as the Broncos surge ahead in the second half, absolutely crushing their future conference mates in the Pac-12 with a 45-24 to win. We see what that team can do. We just at this moment, at this time, we're just going to keep climbing up. That's our goal. Who's next? Who's on the clock? Put the ball down and let's go to work. That's why I mean our core values are the five letters and climb, because I, I believe that's life. Like everything's a journey, and it doesn't matter what media or people tell me our team is ranked or what we are. Obviously, that's the reality. But for me, it's all about what are we working to? What are we climbing to? Because that's life. I mean, life's not about mountaintop experiences. This was a huge win for our program. Huge win. Cannot be more proud of our players cutting it loose. But tomorrow, we flip the switch, we're on Utah State. And it's climbing to the next mountaintop that we got to work to a week from now to play a really good opponent at Utah State. All right, so last night, again, an all-time performance by junior running back Ashton Genty. He became the first player in the NCAA with over 250 rushing yards and four scores in separate games this season. Genty also broke 17 tackles, his 234 yards from contact, the best in a single game in the NCAA so far this season. It's high up there, you know. You know, it's a dream come true. You know, you dream of games like this and – you know, I couldn't be more proud of this team, you know, not just myself, but, you know, the way we came out and competed in, competed in all phases, offense, defense, special teams. I mean, that's one of the best games I've been around since I've been here.
Mm -hmm. Ashton had the opportunity. Well, he had a lot of opportunities during the offseason, and uh, he came back to Boise State for a reason, and one of them to play in front of over 37,000 fans at home on the blue and have an epic performance against a Pac-12 team. I mean, what a show that Ashton Genty put on last night. You know, it's really impressive. It's impressive on Boise State administration-wise what they were able to put together to keep him here mm -hmm. in the City of Trees. It's even more impressive that Genty took it personally. He wanted to finish things off here at Boise State, and uh, he's reaping the benefits right now. I mean, we've, we've got the Heisman flag. People are making custom flags. RG3, Todd Gurley, Chris Johnson, these guys are tweeting at him, mm -hmm. giving him a shout-out. It, it's really impressive to see. It feels like we're witnessing a moment in history yeah, right I mean, now. hey, it, it, Bronco Nation, get to Albertson City and watch this guy because it is a, it is special to watch him play. To give you a little further perspective, I mentioned he broke 17 tackles. Oklahoma State running back Ollie Gordon, one of the best in the country, has a future in the NFL. He's broken seven, uh, 23 tackles all season, and Ashton had 17 in four quarters last night. Ashton also had 234 yards after contact. There are only nine running backs in the Mountain West. Most of them have played four or five games with 234 rushing yards on the season. I mean, what he's doing right now is, is absolutely on another level, and it is really, really special. So um, get to Albert Stadium, Albert, Albert Stadium and watch this guy while you can. All right. With that in mind, we're going to have more on Ashton coming up later on in Extra Extra. But for now, we turn it over to Tom Scott for tonight's edition of the Scott Slant. What a game last night, Tom. It, it was, and I, I tweeted uh, last night that uh, uh, I've, I've seen over 300 games in that stadium mm -hmm. over the years, and, and that uh, atmosphere topped them all. I want to get more on that coming up a little bit later okay. on. Okay. 